Hey everybody, you've heard me talk multiple times about not using soap uh, on the uncircumcised or intact penis. And so today I wanted to talk a little bit about the details of why soap is a bad thing. People have kind of been indoctrinated over the decades that soap is good, soap kills germs, and so on. And yes, that is true, but like any medical advance, it also comes with side effects and, and downsides. And soap, while it kills germs and things like that, it also is harmful to our skin. One of the things that I found in doing research on the topic is that dermatologists will talk about people that have acne problems washing their faces and things too much, and they make the problem worse. They're trying to improve it. They think, oh, my skin is dirty, it's oily, I need to keep it clean. And the more they keep it clean, the worse it makes their problem. It, it damages the skin. And it's exactly the same case. Soap is also damaging to the skin. And when it damages the skin, it dries, it cracks, so on and so forth. It, be it makes the skin irritated. And when it becomes irritated, it becomes red. And when it becomes red, it often, you know, and irritated, it often becomes itchy. Little cracks in the skin allow openings for germs and bacteria to enter. The natural lubrication and things like that that were there, the soap has removed, and so that protection that it provided is no, it's gone, and and so it opens up cracks, if you will, to let in bad stuff. And soap does this. We see it on our hands, especially during the winter time. If we want to wash our hands a lot, you know, all that cracking and everything, and it, it causes issues. Now. One of the things that happens is that the skin inside the foreskin and on the head of the penis is even more sensitive than the external skin. It doesn't have that keratinization, sorry, keratinization that the other parts of our skin might have that are exposed all the time. And frankly, we don't want that on the inside of the penis. You know, the inside of the foreskin, the head of the penis, it's not supposed to be keratinized. That causes toughness and dulling of sensation and things like that, and we don't want that. So that's a bad thing. Um, at least it's a bad thing inside the penis. You know, it's good for things like the soles of our feet and palms of our hands that, that are going to be in contact with things a, a lot of the time. We want a certain amount of toughness. Um, but with the foreskin, we don't want that. And this is what happens to guys that have been circumcised, is the head of their penises gets a little tougher gets that layer of characterization on it. Now, the other thing that soap does, is, in addition to harming the skin in this way, is that it also changes the pH level. When it changes the pH level, it actually creates a more favorable environment inside the foreskin to the odor-causing bacteria. And so, when people try to say that a uncircumcised penis, it smells, well, you know, with that mentality, they've indoctrinated in people to try to wash it more, soap it up good, you know, all this kind of thing. The more that they do that, the more of a problem they are causing. When they start washing their penis and inside the foreskin with water only, which is the proper way to do it, they'll notice any smell that that was causing, caused by the soap, it will decrease because it was that soap that they thought was preventing the problem was actually making the environment more friendly to those odor-causing bacteria. Um, and many people don't are aware of this. And so you hear all the time people saying, oh, well, so-and-so had to get circumcised as an adult for medical reasons. And I always say, well, what were these medical reasons? And many times it's because it was red, irritated, itchy, and they'll say, well, but he kept it very clean. He was very clean. He would, you know, wash two or three times a day. Uh, and I'm like, aha, that's the problem. They were soaping it up. And the more that they thought they were trying to help the problem, the worse they were actually making it. So the very thing that they thought would solve the problem was causing the problem. And often when people find that 
that they stop using soap there, those irritations and things like that will go away. But people don't do that. Sometimes when you tell people you should be rinsing your penis with water only, they're like, ooh, that's gross, that's disgusting. No, it's not. That's how it's supposed to work. We don't soap up the insides of our eyelids, you know, and no one says, oh, your eyes must be filthy. No, it's the same thing with the penis. But like I said, people have gotten so um, indoctrinated with this idea that must use soap and water to clean, that the idea of not using soap on their penis is unthinkable to them. And that's what we need to try to get people to realize is using soap in there, it's causing the problem. It's not the foreskin's fault. It's because people don't know how to just leave it alone, rinse it with water only. And of course we're talking about for an adult um, who is retractable, not a child where you should never even retract the foreskin at all. We're talking about an adult who is retractable, you know, rinsing with water only. Soap changes the pH. Soap damages the skin. And with these two things together, that is what causes these problems that people claim they need to be circumcised for. So, let me say it once again in case it's not clear, is you do not need to be circumcised. Just stop using soap on the head of your penis and inside the foreskin. It's not needed and it is causing problems. Now, there are people who will say, well, I've been using soap for years and it doesn't bother me. Well, you know what? People have different levels of sensitivity and if the soap hasn't bother you yet, well, you know, that's good. Stop before it does. Um, I was talking to a dermatologist one time and they said that, you know, when people develop an allergic reaction to soaps, it may be some, it's often, it may be a soap that they've used for years and all of a sudden, you know, it's just kind of like the body's like, you know, I've had enough. And, and they suddenly start having, um, you know, skin reactions to using soap, even though it's been a soap that's been fine for years. They've finally just irritated the body enough that the body reacted. Uh, so just because it's never been a problem doesn't mean it never will. So stop now before it does cause a problem. And once again, foreskin is uh, a great thing and circumcision is never a solution. There's no need for circumcision. And remember, rinse with water only, never use soap inside the foreskin.